Moving on to our bigger stories now. First up, it is Olympic news. The Olympics, the only opportunity to become bankrupt as city will outbid another city for, is coming to Brisbane for 2032. And in preparation for the upcoming event, debate has begun on what animal should be used for the mascot. Carmen Costello, who sits on the Queensland Tourism Industry Council and the state's Koala Advisory Council, believed the koala was the clear front runner due to its recent endangered status. But unless we have a koala who is currently on fire and call it something like Starvi, the soon-to-be-dead koala, having them as the Olympic mascot will likely result in the message being lost in an avalanche of cute merchandise. Like the panda being used for the Wildlife Foundation mascot, and it still hasn't helped the situation. Maybe because, like real pandas, they just have little to no interest in preserving their own species by refusing to fight. Also, we did the koala in 2018 for the Commonwealth Games, and sure, nobody really actually pays attention to the Commonwealth Games, so it becomes a philosophical conundrum if the mascot is used in the Commonwealth Games, did it actually even happen? And what even are the Commonwealth Games? And isn't it cute that the Commonwealth still thinks it's relevant? If we want something that is specific to Queensland and will raise awareness of a struggling, uniquely Australian problem, our mascot should be one of the following options. A piece of coral, made with those sequins that you can sort of wipe to reveal a new picture underneath. One side will be a beautiful and colourful coral reef, the other will be a bleached white coral reef, so that the mascot will be able to better reflect your belief of the state of the barrier reef. Just wipe on or wipe off. A Voltron of actual pieces of coal dug up from the Queensland Adani mine. Or a cuddly plush of Bianca Reinhardt, daughter of mining magnate and Santa's little helper who managed to land the lucrative naughty child coal contract, Gina Reinhardt. Look, just be happy that it isn't held in Perth, otherwise it'd actually be a plushie of Gina herself. However, Queensland Minister for Tourism, Innovation and Sport, and man who keeps tight-lipped in a conflict of interest, even when he isn't supposed to, Sterling Hinchcliffe, offered up another possibility. The Ibis, more affectionately known as the Bin Chicken. Given Hinchcliffe's history for resigning over a controversy and finding his way back into the cabinet, the appeal of the bin-adjacent animal actually makes a lot of sense. After all, he keeps getting rescued from the proverbial bin. Queensland Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk said it was highly unlikely that the Ibis would be the 2032 Games mascot because she's a coward, but also said, we'll let the public decide. Now, let me, let me, just, let me just put this out there, Anastasia. Letting the public decide has led to some controversial picks in the past and opens up a number of potentially fun but ultimately disappointing mascots like Mascot McMascot Face or Scott Morrison. Yeah, the public chose him. If we are attempting to use the mascot to say something about Queensland and its recent troubles, like Cameron Costello wants us to, well, there seems to be only one realistic option. After a severe increase in pests following Queensland's flood disaster, there was a rise in snake and rat callouts. So, we here at the Barrow of Weed News have two last suggestions for the newest Olympic mascot. We've got Wiggles, the deadly venomous snake without a home, and Harold, the waterlogged rat, who, you may have figured out, was inspired by not only the increased callouts for rats, but Harold Holt, everyone's favourite PM. So, don't be surprised if Harold disappears partway through the Olympics, but we will have a, a story to tell for years to come, and who knows, maybe we'll even name a swimming pool after him. Yes, that's what we did, we named a swimming pool after him. The Harold Holt Swimming Centre.